Welcome back. It's the Cyber Jungle, the news and talk on security, your privacy, and the law. I'm Ira Victor. Well, the headlines at the end of this week were just filled with uh, that story that we've been talking about from Lenovo and how they put man-in-the-middle spyware embedded in their products. And it reminded me of a lunch I had recently with our guest, uh, Heather Wilde, that um, we were talking uh, during lunch about her experience with a router company that had embedded a whole bunch of security problems in their products. And so now with that uh, news from Lenovo, I wanted to uh, bring Heather on as a guest. Uh, Heather Wilde is the chief technology officer for a Las Vegas uh, startup called Rocketeer. Uh, welcome to the Cyber Jungle today, Heather. Hi, Ira. How are you doing? Doing well, Heather. Now, I just want to, uh, for full disclosure, you're here on the show not representing Rocketeer, but just uh, as another uh, information security professional uh, to talk about uh, this issue. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. So, Heather, why don't you tell us what your recent experience was with, uh, uh, was it Netgear networking equipment? Uh, yes, it was, a, it was a Netgear Nighthawk, actually. Um, I'd purchased this uh, from an online retailer, and uh, I, I plugged it in and was getting ready to install a, a new open source freeware, uh, firmware to it. Uh, and in the time between uh, my plugging it in and installing it and uh, getting the, the firmware patch to it, uh, apparently uh, there was a guest network turned on um, and open, ready from the factory. And I was unaware of this because I'd never encountered this before. Uh, and uh, I didn't even realize that this had happened until about a month after that when I got a uh, violation notice from my cable company saying that um, there had been uh, of an an unacceptable movie downloaded uh, on my cable bill. Um, so I, I received a violation notice about this. And, right, so, uh, I tr- so, 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 so <laughs> yeah. So let's roll back for a second. This is a Netgear router. Is that what this device is uh, supposed to do? Yes, it's a it's a router um, that allows your. Uh, I mean, it, it's the thing that uh, goes from your cable modem to uh, spread your Wi-Fi access. All right, and and as it as these routers are advertised, they're they are advertised as the barrier between the public wild wild west internet and your own private uh, inside network. That's correct. And it's supposed to provide that barrier between those two networks. Yep. Exactly. Uh, but in but it came, I guess, with some with, with let's be uh, a little sarcastic here, a wonderful free undocumented utility. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. And now, well, I mean, the reason that I'd purchased this one is because it was supposed to have such wonderful, powerful extended range. So, uh, I mean, and it certainly did. Yeah. Um, and so now it it establishes this guest network. And what do you think somebody did? using this undocumented uh, extra feature that Netgear included in their firmware? Uh, my best guess is because these Netgear routers come uh, with default names for their their networks, uh, that someone within this wonderful, powerful extended range had this network uh, automatically set to their computer. Uh, they, they were downloading something uh, on their computer, and their computer just picked up this new network uh, while it was available and continued to download that they already had in place. Uh, so that's my my best guess as to what happened. And do you? And they were connecting via the the wireline network. You believe is is that is that your thought? Yeah the the Wi Fi. Oh, they were connecting via the Wi Fi. Yes, the the wi- the open guest access Wi-Fi. Okay, so it was in the private side of your network, and they were connecting to the Wi-Fi using this guest access on the Wi-Fi, and then uh, using your bandwidth to. I mean, they they could have downloaded. I guess they were downloading a movie that that maybe was a copyright violation, like a BitTorrent movie. Is that what you That's think it correct. was? Okay. It, that, uh, yes, that was exactly correct. 
Wow, very interesting. So, um, did you once you just once you got this notice from your cable company? And these are pretty serious because people get these notices that can ultimately lead to a copyright violation notice from a movie studio to pay to pay a penalty for illegal file sharing. Yes, yeah, it's extremely serious. I I got this notice and I immediately called up the cable company and uh, I wanted to get this straightened out right away. And what did the cable company say? They had to read the name of the movie to me over the phone and the uh, and read me this verbal warning. Um, and uh, it was it was a very uh, embarrassing situation for the cable company because they they just couldn't believe that I had done this. And I was explaining to them that it wasn't me. Um, so then they uh, they they just struck it from my record, thankfully. But if if the company uh, that sent them the violation came back to them later it could be serious consequences for me anyway yeah i mean they they would the uh, cable company would be forced by a subpoena i would imagine to turn over your name so that yes. the so that the movie company could sue you for co- you know send you a notice saying pay us typically it's in the it's it's over $1000 to pay per movie for copyright violations when people get these these uh uh these types of notices that, exactly all right. So what did you? So okay. So w- once you found this out, you're looking. You're scratching your head. You're looking at your relatively new Netgear extended range Wi-Fi. What did you do next? I returned it to um, to the retailer. Um, I I just unhooked it immediately and, and sent it back. And um, did the retailer ask you why you returned it? They did, and uh, I put right in the comments. Um, I told them that it was a faulty firmware and uh, that it was unacceptable for this to happen. And did you hear back from them? They just accepted it and gave me a refund. Yeah. So probably nothing happened. You know, just some customer service rep just said, Oh, customer wasn't happy. And so other people that are out there with this Netgear uh, equipment could be experiencing the same exact problem. It's, it's very possible. All right. Now, do you remember the model number of this Netgear uh, or, the, uh, or the name? Y- Yes, it's the the Nighthawk X6 AC3200. It's burned in my brain. Okay, and and how many? You know, uh, how long ago did this happen, Heather? Uh, this was in December. Okay, December of 2014. So this is not some old piece of equipment you bought used at DefCon. This is a no. <laughs> this is a new a, a new Netgear router, Wi-Fi router. That's correct. All right. Yeah. So what words? So we're gonna we're gonna be fair to Netgear. And uh, we're going to reach out to Netgear and see if they have any comment for us. And we hope they do. Um, you know, sometimes they, sometimes these companies have comments. Uh, sometimes they don't. Um, Lenovo's original comment at the end of this week was, ah, no big deal. Nothing, nothing to see here. Uh, all hypothetical was their, their initial comment at Netgear. We, uh, excuse me, at Lenovo. We uh, hope that Netgear will give us a more a more complete answer. But what kind of advice, as you go through this experience, what kind of advice do you have for others that are out there uh, shopping for uh, this type of equipment? Uh, my advice would be to uh, just go through all of the settings when you are setting a when you're checking a router um, when you're installing it beforehand. Also, make sure you read all of the reviews to see if there are any. Uh, any th- reports of anything like this, read the one stars and the five stars because people will be re- checking. I mean, will be reporting everything that they find Yeah, and I, just believe them. Yeah. You know, um, it, it really shows the power of crowdsourcing. I think if a lot of people um, made comments about this Netgear router, that would put a lot of pressure on Netgear to actually look at the, at the security of their firmware. Yeah, and I believe that uh, Netgear is a company that does respond very quickly and issues patches. So it's possible that they found this and already fixed it. All right. Well, we'll find out. Uh, Heather Wild with Rocketeer. Why don't you quickly tell us, Heather, what Rocketeer does? Uh, Rocketeer is an executive uh, coaching, mentoring, and training company that works on the ecosystem level to uh, help raise the return on capital and return on community 
of uh, entrepreneurial ecosystems. Well, wow, that said so well. And one other thing is, yeah, your your the signal faded in and out there. We did reach Heather on a military base. She's actually on a military base today. We can't disclose where that is, but we apologize for that signal fading in and out. Uh, Heather, where do people find Rocketeer on the internet? Uh, it's available at r o c e t e r dot com. All right, we'll provide a link to Rocketeer. Find it on our show notes page, www.thecyberjungle.com. Click on show notes. Heather Wild, CTO of Rocketeer, thanks so much for telling us about this Netgear router today on the Cyber Jungle. Now, following up on the interview with Heather Wild, and in complete fairness to Netgear, we at the Cyber Jungle reached out to the uh, press officials at Netgear. We told them that we've got a story about uh, the problems with uh, with their equipment, and we have invited them to uh, send an official, a technical official, uh, someone who's familiar with information security, to come on the show. We've uh, we've reached out to them, left them voicemail, haven't heard back from them yet, but we still, if you're hearing us now at uh, Netgear, please reach out to us, explain to us what's going on, what have their experience. And what you're doing about it. We do want to hear from you at Netgear. All right. Well, that does wrap it up for this week's episode of the Cyber Jungle. My name is Ira Victor. I do want to thank you for joining us on the program. Hey, be sure to check out our new sponsor, Peerlist. Go check out their site. Sign up. It's totally free. P-E-E-R-L-Y-S-T. Peerlist.com. I'm on it. So should you. Uh, And, of course, uh, check out everything on our website, www.thecyberjungle.com. Com. I'm Ira Victor, and remember, every time you log on, it's a jungle in there. The Cyber Jungle is a talk.